Cases rising fast, every intensive care bed full, up 20% in just a week. The whole Greater Paris area in danger of being put back into full lockdown. What a moment to suspend the use of a jab that's been more than a quarter of your vaccine supply. At this clinic in Paris, they're still inoculating with the Pfizer and Moderna versions. But progress is slow. They're still working through many in their 80s. For Dr. Patrick Vincent, desperate to speed things up, this is not good news. What do you think about the decision by the French authorities to suspend the AstraZeneca vaccine? They are full. It's a bad decision. I know many friends who have the, this vaccination and uh, no problem in AstraZeneca. What we're seeing in French vaccine policy here and across so much of Europe is the precautionary principle in action. You can't be too careful, better safe than sorry. But can that apply in the middle of the deadliest pandemic in a century when arguably the risks of not vaccinating are so much higher? Ferida Wagner knows those risks. She'd had an appointment for her first injection this morning. It was cancelled yesterday. They cancelled it because of the AstraZeneca. They're not allowed to vaccine AstraZeneca. So you were going anymore. to be given an AstraZeneca jab? Yes, jam. yes, yes. And were you happy to have one? Of course, yes. Those advising the government here say they felt they had no choice once Germany suspended the Oxford jab. A French population already nervous about it would have demanded a pause, they insist. Isn't this like imposing health and safety regulations during a war? Uh, that's a good point. <laughs> In many countries, you have what we call vaccine hesitancy. And so you have to guarantee that people are not too afraid of the vaccine. They have the right to be reasonably afraid, you know, but they still get the, the jab. But okay. is there evidence that ordinary French people are actually afraid of this vaccine? They are afraid of all vaccines, and it's very well documented. Yeah, that's what they call the, the level of vaccine hesitancy in France is one of the highest in the world. But the danger now, and they recognise it here, is that having piled yet more suspicion on AstraZeneca, however unfounded it may turn out to be, that public acceptance will now collapse, rendering a good vaccine almost useless in Europe's fight against the virus. James Mason News at 10, Paris.